The usual, sir. When you hear a hardcore track, you listen to the melody, you think that melody is super simple. How the fuck does it still sound so complex? I don't know. Answer to this question is of course processing. <clears throat> Let me explain. Do you think this melody sounds interesting? What about this? It's all the same. Only difference is the processing. Let me show you how. Wow, wow. So waves are like unflavored chicken. What? Without spices, it would be just unflavored chicken. So that was chicken, you twat. We need to add spices to make it more interesting. Some people like more spicy food than others. Give it up and down up. This is hardcore. So we need a couple of really strong spices. Here is all the stuff you need. One fresh serum, two OTTs, one teaspoon of fast distortion, one filtering plugin of choice, and one delay. Delay, delay, delay. That's about it. Now we move on to how, why, when, where, who, huh. <laughs> There are basically two types of filtering effects. There is a effect where we use a envelope or we just don't use a envelope. This method doesn't use any envelopes. Let's begin our journey for creating interesting and noisy articulated leaf sounds by using serum. Two saw waves, FM with sub oscillator, LFO to FM, like this, and you have a nice, really hard sounding lead. Add some distortion and stuff like that if you really want to. This is the lead. It's overly simplified, but super effective. <laughs> Let's check out this melody pattern without the pitch automation on. Let's check it out with the pitch automation on. The difference is insane. You can see I'm really, really playing around with the pitch of this sound. Honestly, my greatest tip for learning how to do these pitch bends correctly is to just listen to some high quality, hard dance music, artists you really, really enjoy. Listen to that with critical ear. When the pitch bend is done right, honestly, you don't really even notice that. You really need to think about it. Listen to the melody parts of those tracks in loop and really think where the pitch bends are. Create a melody pattern and use the pitch bend automation in a similar manner. This really old sounding concept I'm about to talk is still relevant enough to make your sounds level up instantly. Let's say you play violin and drag the bow on the strings. There will be imperfections and that is making every musician unique. When you are doing stuff in real life, like playing piano, you are controlling the pressure with your fingers and articulating the instrument whatever it is, in a way that sounds pleasant to you. We need to start to think FL Studio as a real instrument. Amogus. We are going to use our hands and our mind <laughs> to control the stuff we play. Now we are going to talk about delay and why it is important. I'm simply going to activate all my effects here, except these two. Industry secret. I have a delay plugin here. I'm also going to activate my reverb bus here. Industry secret. Pay close attention to what happens here when this part is over. We 
we are delaying the last part of our melody on top of these static notes here. While you are hearing this, this thing is still actually ringing on top of this. When you are introducing your melody, it's super important to use the filter automation here and the delay to make the listener kind of curious like, huh, what is that? You are kind of forced to pay attention to this part, which is super important because this is a melody. It's the most important part of a track. So next up, we are going to talk about the low pass filter. This is simply just a low pass filter with some resonance. If you have no idea what I'm talking about. So the trick here is this. When the melody hits first, you can see I am kind of bringing the filter down. And with that, I am trying to make the listener to pay attention to this sound. Like, what was that sound? I want to hear more. I, of course, want to delay this part to my next kind of static two bars here. So I'm opening the filter up just a touch here. So the delay rings on top of this thing and it sounds super cool. Try to make your listener to pay attention to the stuff you do. In this first part, I don't give away the whole sound of the actual full melody until it actually drops. I try to fool you guys to think that it's bigger than it actually is. Uh, what do you mean? The melody, of course. What were you thinking, you little per? Next up, we have another super important thing. So let's listen to this melody part here with these effects. And without those effects. And as you might guess, this is just distortion and EQ automation. Industry secret. If I delete all the effects here and just make the serum to be a saw wave. Adding the pitch automation, adding the EQ, the filtering, delay, reverb, another saw wave, the frequency modulation from the sub oscillator, distortion. Now it's the actual melody. So if you have no idea how to do this cool automation inside the pattern here, I can show it to you guys. Now this is super simple to do. First of all, with your complete lead sound, you can always test it out. Now I want to record it. Just press R or this button here. Right click, make sure the automation is selected. Make also sure that you have the correct pattern selected on your pattern selector. Let's just press space. Now we can see we have, if we go here, right click, EQ band level and EQ band frequency. So now if we check it out, 